Since 1983, there has been an advanced building system that is the solution to building problems. This evolution currently has over 50 production lines and has thousands of realized continuous developments all over the world. And now, there is one in the region. This new advanced building system is being introduced to Kenya and the East African region by CMAX. This new technology is simple. A single panel made of wire mesh enclosing a polystyrene foam with amazing advantages. Lightness. The panels are light and extremely easy to move in bulk. And this leads to rapid installation and cost effectiveness. Versatility. It is easy to obtain geometrical shapes or curves just by cutting the panel on site. Finishings of any type are possible without any limitations. The panels have been tested and proven that it is load resistant, fire resistant, earthquake resistant, cyclone resistant, and soundproof. Within just 18 days, CMAX allows you to witness for yourselves the completion of this house and experience this new advanced building system. Day one. A floor plan is provided with the panels with instructions for laying the components correctly. A normal foundation is laid. Rebars are put in position according to the calculated stress space of the panel. Well, the first thing that you notice is that the advantages are real. Just by the symmetry and lightness of the panels, this creates a cost-effective building system. And this, my friend, reduces the overall cost of construction. From storage and transportation to site, and even the laying of foundation is more cost-efficient because of the precision nature of this advanced building system. The CMAX building system increases your labor efficiencies, therefore allowing you to see tangible results a lot faster. Day 2 Using the floor plan, the selected panel is picked only by two. It is simply cut using ball cutters and sewing through the polystyrene foam, and it is ready to be placed in position. A plumb line is used to make sure that it is level. The overlapping mesh enables the panels to be tied together using binding wire or a manual stapler, and to connect the rebars providing continuity in arrangement. There is no wastage in this advanced building system. According to the specifications, every panel is put in place. Day 3 All structural connections, such as corners, doors, windows, and joints, or the most stressed parts, are reinforced with suitable galvanized steel for better continuity amongst the walls. It is possible to add extra reinforcements. Construction continues. More cutting and placing of panels according to the specifications. Day 4 by simply using a jet of hot air, the polystyrene is melted and flexible pipes are placed underneath the mesh and wiring is placed in the required positions. You are provided with a machine, you connect it with the power and you just have to melt your way through the panel. I love you just pass your code or the flexible code. It was very quick because comparing Nazil and Yumbazama on Ambu and Uchonge, it's very simple. A similar procedure is used to install the plumbing components. When it comes to the roof, this is enormously simplified thanks to the proven lightness and handiness of the panels. This is done by placing the panels compactly by frame and span. This has enormous time saving benefits and gives the structure greater homogeneity. Every roof panel needs to be attached to the adjacent panel. And 
the roof is complete. Day 5 With all the components put together and the house is standing, we move to applying the concrete. Make sure you have the right amount of water, the necessary cement and sand, and the right gear. The cement is prepared with the right ratio of 4 to 1. The first screed is put in position that is used to level and guide the concrete thickness and the plastering level. Lining up all the screeds, we introduce the shortcrete application. This describes a new construction technique that sprays concrete at a high velocity onto the panel surface. Once the cement is placed in the holder, the cement is then projected through the holes at the bottom of the shortcrete gun. Two layers will be applied. The first layer should have a minimum thickness of approximately 2.5 cm. Construction continues. The walls sprayed with the concrete are left to dry and harden. This is the ease of using the shortcrete. <laughs> Once the first layer is complete, the procedure continues inside the house. After the first coat covers the mesh and the second hand coat is sprayed, the leveling and finishing phase are carried out using good quality material and respecting setting times. Day 8 Using the guide levels, the excess concrete is removed and after the curing, the plastering begins. crew creates innovative ways by using the shortcrete to spray water and help with the curing process. Yes. While the plastering continues, the back of the house gets a second layer of concrete. Construction continues. Support beams are put in place for the preparation of the roof's concrete slab. With the beams in place, we can now move on to the roof and start by connecting the panels. More angular mesh is put in place along the edges. A wooden frame is put in place which will hold the concrete. With the preparation complete, the process of laying the concrete slab begins. Construction continues. We move to the next phase for the next couple of days, which involves spraying concrete onto the interior of the roof, doing the roof edges, and finally, the final touches on the plastering to complete the shell of the house. This new advanced building system has taken exactly 18 days.
Construction continues. It is now time for the finishing. A wide choice of finishing can be used in the new advanced building system and you can choose any of your personal preferences. a new advanced building system is definitely a revolution to our building industry. The time it has taken is remarkably short and the cost saving cut across of the cost of production. 